Good morning. <clears throat> I'm on the website of uh, Lisburn and Castlereagh City Council. Not Borough Council, but City Council. And I'm looking at the current job openings at Lisburn and Castlereagh City Council. Now there's six positions currently available. But it's really the bottom four that we're interested in today. Um, <clears throat> the first one is um, an HR project officer, but it doesn't actually give a salary, and it's only a temporary role. The next position down is a porter, a permanent job, and it's paying a very lowly salary of £21,968 which is not a great deal of money in this day and age. Let's be perfectly frank about it. But let's move on to the third job. The Business Development Partner Commercialization. Now I have absolutely no idea what that job is. It's quite possibly what I like to term a non-job. But let's look at the salary. At the top of the pay band you will get £50,608 per annum. Now if anybody can tell me what a business development partner commercialization is, I would really like to know. The next one is head of HR and OD. I suppose you could justify that role to some extent. But let's look at the salary. £65,754 per annum for the smallest council in Northern Ireland. That's quite a hefty amount of money. But let's move down to the next one. Head of Parks and Amenities. I suppose you could justify that job role too to a large extent. The salary again, £65,754. Nice work if you can get it. Again, another non-job, Head of Service, IT and Commercialization. Salary, £65,754. Now if we tot those four jobs up, the business development partner, the head of HR and OD, the head of parks and amenities, and the head of service IT and commercialization, we come to 247000 £870. Approximately a quarter of a million in terms of salaries that the ratepayer of Lisburn and Castlereagh City Council has to shell out. What I find objectionable is that these councils keep saying that we need to have an increase in the rates to keep investment in public services going. But that's only partly true. A lot of the ratepayers' money is going on jobs such as this. I mean, out of those six jobs, I would say you could justify the portering role. You could justify head of HR. And I suppose you could justify the head of parks and amenities. But as for the others, they're just non-jobs. The council has coped perfectly well without them in the past. And we'd probably cope perfectly well in the future without those job rules too. It seems to be its empire building and very little else. But there you go. Now, you can leave your comments in the comment box below. Tell me what you think. And if anybody has a clue what a business development partner commercialization is, I would love to know. Maybe somebody could tell me. Anyway, make of that what you will, and I'll see you on the next video.